What's up, Jabronis? You're about to know the right time to a brand new movie. We are checking out the movie Abigail. Yes, we are checking out Abigail. It somehow, for some reason, is already out for renting and buying. Like three weeks after it was in theaters, which kind of is awesome because I get to watch it now with you guys together for the first time. But it also does kind of suck <laughs> because, like, it means that they have zero faith in the movie making money even though it already essentially kind of made its budget back um and i feel like it would have made a good budget like it would have made its money back um but we said this a while ago that i felt like the movie was like not promoting the movie because of the melissa her whole thing with palestine and stuff and everything that happened with scream so i kind of felt like they were screwing over the movie which sucks um the cast is pretty crazy i'm a pretty good cast um the one dude from um euphoria is in this movie I don't know what his name is, but he's in the movie. Um, turns out the vampire girl, spoiler, I guess, from the trailer, um, is the girl from um, uh, Matilda the Musical, which is cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have a good time. See where it takes us. Here we go. Like, this movie has August Cloud, oh, Angus Cloud, Alyssa Barrera, the Catherine Newton girl. And Dan Stevens and John Carlos Esposito are all in this movie. I did hear that people say that the, they wish that the trailer didn't give away the twist because the twist isn't seen for a little bit. And it would have been kind of cool to see it in theaters, but I understand because you know they have to sell tickets, but Oh man, I feel like he's gonna be like my kind of character and they're gonna kill him first. I think he I think I'm gonna like him and he's gonna die first. Ah! So Oh he was about to hit her? He was about to punch her in the face. Oh, I thought we were gonna be in this house. Where's the oh I thought we were okay. So Based on the trailer, who the hell gave them this job? Whoever gave them the job knows what she is. Whose house is this? This place is pretty sweet. Why do they keep looking at each other? You like this? Yeah, look at all this cool shit. Girl. <laughs> what are you doing? She's like a child, bro. He's like, is he high? <laughs> Yeah, he's high. This dude's high. He's smoking. You come from money. It's true. Oh. Which means you're only in this for the kicks. You know, oh. get your hands dirty. Oh, girl, Use what? Use a keyboard instead of a gun and tell yourself that makes what you do not as bad. Good luck when the illusion wears off. Damn. Oh, did he get that right? Okay. I'm gonna go check on the girl. What a cool way to get to know everybody a little bit. I knew it. Junkies never share candy. Yeah, they could have kept the twist because right now, if you didn't know what this movie was about, it looks, it looks like a kidnapping movie. Holy. My dad, well, like he thought he wanted a child, but then he just lost interest. Damn, that's just sad, bro. What? Made a mistake. Sorry about what's gonna happen to you. Look, I don't need to know who the girl's father is, but do you know? No, why? She just implied that her father might be a particularly violent man. Why did you go see the little girl? Look away, don't fucking look at me! Oh, good! Who the fuck is your father? Oh. Joey said you didn't want to know. Well, fuck Joey. I do want to know. Who the fuck is your father? Okay. Did he forget he didn't have a mask when he walked in there? He walked in there. Or was this all part of the plan to pretend to get her scared? Oh, he's leaving. Oh, he's scared. What's going on? What's going on is that we are fucked. That little girl is Christoph Lazar's daughter. Shit. What if we just, like, you know, like give her back and say sorry? 
Oh, yeah. Here's your daughter, Mr. Fucking Antichrist. We're really sorry. Hope she's not too traumatized. Let's play around a round of golf sometime. Walk in there to see Angelina Ballerina memorizing my fucking face. That's on you, dumbass. Party foul. Why did you take off her blindfold, Joey? It's messy. Now we have to kill her. The Joey. You just had to do your little magic trick, didn't you? You wanted to play, oh, uh, fuckface. If we just leave her here and we don't get none of that money, we all just pretend like we don't know who her father is, and with the money we're making from this, we just disappear forever. Hmm? Start a new life and never have to see any of you fucks ever again. Son of a bitch! It's Dean, it's Dean. <laughs> My man's trying to smash. <laughs> the fact that he was in there trying to smash, he is dying now. Yeah, you're dead. Fuck. They're killing you first? Damn, man. I had a feeling it was going to be you. That sucks. Look at this guy. Is he drawing a dick on his face? I think he's drawing a dick on his face. And now you got. Now you're dead. Man, fuck this shit. Oh, she ate a rat. She just ate the rat. You little shit. Oh, she's playing with them. She put him. Ah, fucking hell. All eight bodies are ripped apart. Holy yeah. shit. Was this guy no sending his daughter to kill people? Decapitation. That's his signature. Oh, damn. What? That's, a, that's another cool twist. This movie did not have to show us that it was the girl. Yeah, well, we don't know what Valdez looks like. It could be one of us. That would have been another cool twist. I think he went to go get his gun. They took his gun! What the fuck? Son of a bitch! They took his gun. Well, she took his gun. No! Are you dead? What? Sorry, okay. Ah, wait. Joey, what's happening? Just sorting something out. You're not touching that girl. Okay, put it the fuck down. Oh, she's bored now. She's bored now. She's bored now. Oh, she's bored. You guys aren't listening to her. Ah, no! I didn't know. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be you. Help him. Help the big man. Okay. Yep, smart girl, smart girl. She bailed right away. She didn't wait. Smart little girl, smart blonde girl. Oh, she ate that bullet. Why are we still in here? Fucking girl is Valdez, you moron. I thought her name was Abigail. Oh my she God. Isn't a, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't think that was Valdez would be the stupidest thing we could do. Why is Why? Because we lose the only bargaining chip we have. Well, what do you suggest? We bargaining chip to who? Lives. No, I'm not betting our lives on your fucking hunch. I'm telling you. Sam, onions. Those are fucking onions. Well. <laughs> Look at her. She's holding. <laughs> no, this is so stupid. She's dancing with a dead body. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. No! No! Ah! Fuck! Ah! Help her! What the fuck? Fuck, help him! No! None of it works! Yeah, Joey was right. We needed to not do that. That was that was the biggest failure we had right there. Well, the steak worked on my fucking leg. <laughs> and she used the crucifix on Peter like a fucking pincushion. <laughs> the did fuck all. <laughs> or you trust me. Dude, I'm not splitting up. Are you out of your fucking mind? I mean, then again, she could have killed us at any point. So I don't know. Oh, uh, Sammy. 
Oh my, uh, it's a pit of bodies. This is a kill house. This is a, this is a whole kill house. We lure people to this house for her to feed. Are you dead now? Shut up. He got a splinter dog. Peter, you're dead. Peter's dead. Run, Peter. No, keep moving. All right. I got her trapped in the upstairs hallway, so. Is you good? Oh my God, we're all, we're all the stupid. We're all dumb. Oh my God, she must smell so bad. <laughs> she said, I'm here. <laughs> she said, I'm here. <laughs> She's just playing with us, bro. Look at this. Thank you. Ah, didn't work. No, Frank. Frank, maybe you pissed her off because she like, she's holding some grudges here. No, 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 she's gonna bite you. Oh, Peter, Peter body. Oh, Peter. Okay, well, you know, you probably won't turn into nothing. That doesn't mean anything. It's nothing. It's all the movies. You're fine. Sammy doesn't even have to be here. She does this shit because for the thrill of it, bro. Maybe. <laughs> She's a little bitch, yo. <laughs> She's a little oh bitch, dude. God. She said maybe. <laughs> Listen, little lady. Hey, I brought you all here. Ah! You brought us here? Wait. Jesus there was never any money. I planned all of this. Oh, she hates us. Oh. She got us all to the house. How many of your father's enemies do you think you're going to have to kill until he loves you again? Damn. Maybe we don't piss her off, though. Why didn't you just kill us? Why did you bring us here? Because it isn't. The game. If you let me out, I'll let two of you live. Which two? <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> you tried that, Frank. Oh fuck! No, no, Peter! No, Peter! No, it's a. Yeah, she's lying, man. Brother, don't get so close to her. Back up. <laughs> Ah! Oh shit! Oh, wow, that's a very different approach to like that. I've never seen it that way before. That's cool. Well, she has the way that it works though is Sammy would have to die, right? And come back from the dead? Ain't that how that would work? No. Oh fuck, she is turning. Oh, I thought she had to die or something. She's about to, oh no, yo, ah, fuck. You did turn. It's like whatever she's doing up top, whatever she's doing up top, you're doing. Peter. Oh shit, what the fuck? You drink too much. Oh shit. I feel like she's gonna open the boards and get and kill her. Got him. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? She said she got him. Oh no. She's still in here. Because she doesn't care. She doesn't care about Sammy. Fuck. She doesn't care about her body. So, yeah, look, she's laughing. You hear her laughing? What is happening, motherfucker? I brought you back here to offer you a deal. We're not taking any fucking deals. I wasn't talking to you. I thought... So what's the whole thing? How do you... How do you get... Oh, feed them blood. Okay, that's cool. That's... So this is how... Oh! Oh! 
wow, bro. Ain't that cr dude? The way they blow up is wild. <laughs> Our game ends here. Okay. Don't make sure of that. <laughs> Well, Dan Stevens kind of been a bad guy the whole movie, so. Oh my gosh, she locked us in. She locked the door. Damn it, Abigail, you locked the door. Really? That ain't gonna work. Oh, he wants to control her? Oh shit, ah. Uh. Then we're gonna go see that kid of yours. Yeah, he wants to control her. You kill him. Oh my God! What a. I'm too weak to take him alone. Oh shit! I'm wrong. Let me kill him and I'll let you go. Oh, he did. He. See your son again. He actually did hurt you. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh damn! <laughs> Oh my god, he's twisting it just to be a dick. Oh, the pinky swear thing, the pinky promise thing. Um, does that count, Abigail, though? You tried to kill me. But I guess killing me is way is way better than you making me kill my son, so. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm not sure how, though. There's a thing about being a vampire, Frank. It takes a long fucking time to learn how to do all the cool shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it dad? No! It's her dad. Is her dad Dracula or something? No, I don't want to see you again. I'm think we're not cool, Abigail. Like, I don't care that you didn't kill me at the end. We ain't cool. That was cool. Um, alrighty then. That was Abigail. Um, I liked it. I mean. It's my kind of movie. It's very your next, ready or not. It's it's very my kind of movie um, where it's like a blend of horror, but like with a lot of solid comedy and the characters are kind of like, I don't know, like not super exaggerated versions of themselves, but like, I don't know. I like the vibe of it. I I liked every actor. The only person that I will say didn't really get a lot to do was the a marine dude um they i feel like they killed him too quickly because we he didn't even really connect with our with um with joey like i think he could have connected more with joey um but i will say though i know why they did the twist i get it like or not the i know why they showed what the twist was in the trailer i fully understand that right this the showing the vampire thing and the whole ballerina thing, I really think they were going for a Megan vibe. And I really do believe that because of that, they thought it would get more people to watch it. My problem is you didn't put the movie out for it to have a full chance. The movie made $30 million. I think it cost $30 million to make. Um, and then two weeks in theaters, maybe three, they already... They already put it out for you to buy it or rent it. Um, I think this movie would have done big numbers or solid good numbers in Halloween. I think if this movie would have came out during Halloween instead of um, now, I think it would have done well. Like Five Nights at Freddy's did like $300 million. And that movie I heard is all kinds of ass. 
Um, I think this would have done well for Halloween. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I liked it. I think that years down the line, probably people that don't really know the twists will get a bigger, even bigger kick out of the movie because it took about 50 minutes, 50 minutes for the twist to like, bam, what it is. Right. Because for a big part of it, you know, you're like, wait, is it a person? Is it somebody that's trying uh, uh, that's like just a, a hitman? Is it is it one of us? That then the twist happens, and then the next hour is the horror movie. Um, but the first forty, first four fifty minutes isn't even a horror movie. Um, but and um, I th- I was invested in the first fifty minutes even without the horror movie aspects of it, right? It was just like cool. And I'm like, oh, this is interesting. And I liked all the characters. I thought all the characters were solid as hell. They all played their role well, except for like, I thought the Marine guy didn't get much to do. But I thought everybody else legitimately played their like role well. Like Sammy, I thought was funny. I thought the fact that she was rich and didn't have to be there. Um, I liked that Frank was ultimately a dick. I liked that Peter was dumb. I liked that um that uh what's uh August Cloud's kid's name. Um I like that he that Rickle, no, not Rickle, that Dean, I like that he was high the whole time. Um, I like it. I like it. I, I th- this little girl is a beast as well. Um, she's All she's really been in is Matilda, I think, is what I see here. She's in the Matilda musical. And then she's got, like, nothing really coming up from what I could see here. She's got, like, a an animated um, movie. But that's it. Um, I saw interviews from her when leading up to this movie, and it's super like funny. Like when she talked, and I guess that I should have picked up on how much blood was gonna be in here, because in one of the interviews she talked about like one of the one of the the amount of stuff is like that. She talked about like the amount of blood, like being covered in blood and stuff, and like dealing with like all that blood and how sticky it was. So I should have picked up on how much it was. Um, but yeah, I thought the. I thought the murders were actually pretty cool, like pretty fun and not like they weren't like basic murders. They were like, I don't know. They were like solid murders to me, like the way they did them. They weren't anything crazy over the top. The most over the top thing is when they exploded. Like whenever, like when her hand got the sunlight, how it just fucking blew up. (laughs) Like that's a very different approach to to most of the horror movies, like a vampire stuff that we see, right? Like it straight up blew up. And then it grew back and it was kind of cool. But like how you blow up when you get staked, how you blow up when the sunlight hits you, that's cool. Very over the top as hell. Um, I can see it grossing a lot of people out though. Um, I also like the the twist that I didn't fully see coming. So what I thought it was, I thought it was her dad was using this as a way to essentially like kill his foes or whatever. And the dad was like a mob boss. But instead it was, it was essentially her. Cause she finds out all the people that like somehow screwed over her father. And she then brings them here to kill them for her pleasure, for fun. Ultimately she's bored, whatever you can do the, the they, they also talked about like seeking her father's approval, um, which is cool. I don't think we needed to see her dad at the end. I don't think it added anything actually don't know what it was for like the dad being here i guess to show like i guess i think they only really had her father for the line of she was here when you weren't i honestly think that's the only reason they wanted the dad there for her to have that line i think it's a good line for her to say that like she was here to help like to save me or help me when you weren't um that's the only reason i could think of why they kept the dad like why the dad scene was even needed um, or to show her that Abigail and her are bonded and she even um, she, she protected her over her father um, yeah um, but yeah I don't know I liked it uh, I did find another thing that I kind of is I'm kind of iffy on um, that I don't know if I love is how easily um, I guess she didn't know right she didn't know here that he turned. 
right? I don't think she knew that Frank turned here. Because the way she approached him, it, it it didn't seem like she knew. I think she's I think they they she thinks that they just killed um the Lambert guy. I don't think she knew that Lambert turned him. That's my guess. Cause she kind of approaches him like like yeah, see she's running. She's running before he turns around. And then he catches her. So my guess is that she didn't know he got turned. Cause if she knew he got turned, it makes her look kind of weak. Like cause he gets her so fast. I don't think she knew, and that's why he was able to grab her and then get the upper hand. Um, and I also love the line at the end about the whole, that's the thing about being a vampire or whatever. It takes a really long time to, le to learn all the cool shit. Because when she, when he was trying to control Joey, my brain was like, my brain thought like, how does he know how to do that? Like when Abigail did it, she was like, and she was seeing through her eyes and everything. So I'm glad that they made the joke like that it didn't actually work and she was pretending. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I like the movie. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, my vibe, my kind of horror movie. Um, this is like this style of horror movie is my favorite kind of horror movie. Um, it would probably be this and then some kind of thriller. Um, are my my favorite style of horror movies. Um, because they're fun. Um, the movie wasn't the movie didn't have a lot of jump scares. I'll be honest with you. So I could see if people wanted jump scares. Um, not a lot in here. Not a lot of jump scares, not even a lot of crazy, uh, scary imagery or anything either. So if people wanted that, I could see them being disappointed. But um, review wise, I think I, it has some good reviews, um, like pretty good reviews in the 80s from audience, in the 80s from critics. Um, I really hope that it does well. I don't need a sequel or anything. Um, it'd be cool, but I don't need one. I don't even know what a sequel would be. The only thing like a sequel wouldn't ha a sequel wouldn't hit the same. Because of what the vibe and the twist is. Um, the only way a sequel could work is that Abigail needs the help of the um, Joey, which wouldn't really work for me. Um, to me, this could be like Attack the Block or certain other movies that are like I love that are kind of like this. Like Ready or Not doesn't need a sequel um, either. We watched that one together and that was a lot of fun. Um, there's certain movies that don't need sequels. And I think this one doesn't need one. So, And it's, it's not going to make enough money anyway to get a sequel, so it doesn't matter. But I liked it a lot. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Going to get out of here. Talk to you guys later.